Working at a bank like Pioneer, you are accustomed to dealing with numbers. But here's a number that might surprise you. 37% of a manager's workday is spent handling poor performance or sub-quality behavior. 37%. If the old proverb is true and time is money, that's a lot of cash that could be spent on things like bonuses and raises for those employees with high performance skills, for those who understand the importance of productivity. So, why is it that so much of a manager's day is spent dealing with these issues? The answer is simple. Most employees are looking for leadership. Most of them prefer to wait for someone else to take the reins when it comes to addressing day-to-day -day problems or making something new happen. This is where you might come in. Have you ever said to yourself, gosh, I'd really like to energize my workplace, or I feel like I could make a difference if only I had the authority to exercise some of my ideas. Maybe you've gone home after work with thoughts of how you could encourage your colleagues to increase productivity or to just make a more positive atmosphere at work. But you've never felt comfortable implementing these ideas because you don't see yourself as being in a leadership position. Well, I have good news for you. Leadership is not a position. Leadership is a way of thinking, acting, and looking at things. And if you have ideas on how to energize the people around you, you can and must speak up. Remember, most of your colleagues are looking for someone to follow. So if you're someone who can see a path to success, lay it out there and help show others where it leads. Those who can lead, regardless of their job description, are appreciated by their superiors, and more importantly, they're promotable. If you're willing to take on responsibilities over and above your job description, you're not only benefiting the company at large, you're also demonstrating your capacity for a higher position by taking on the additional responsibilities now. So what does it mean to be a leader outside of your position? Most importantly, it means calling out and redirecting suboptimal behavior and doing so in a positive manner. If you can take a situation that looks like it could lead to a potential problem, and turn it around to allow for a success, that's being a good leader. In doing so, you not only benefit your organization, you also benefit the employee who's just gone from becoming a potential liability to becoming an asset. By intervening as a leader, you might be able to prevent the hassle and cost for your company of replacing an employee, and you might save that person their job. We all know what it looks like when someone goes above and beyond their job description. Think of people you encounter on a daily basis that put extra effort into their work in a productive and positive way. Maybe it's the waiter who knows the menu by heart and looks you in the eye when taking your order. Or maybe it's the bookstore employee who takes you right to the author you're looking for and even suggests other books you might like as well. These people leave a good impression on you. People who stick only to the job description, regardless of the scenario, do not. If by putting in this extra effort here at Pioneer, you can learn something you've never known before, do something better than it's ever been done before, reduce redundancy, encourage passion in others, empathize with your colleagues and customers, offer ideas for improvement, and lead by example, you can accomplish massive results without a position of authority by recognizing responsibility and taking action. You can discover your own power and bring others along for the ride. Start today. Write down three things that are keeping your organization from achieving its highest potential. Choose one that you believe you can impact and go for it. Be brave, kind, confident, and thoughtful. And remember, leadership is not a position, it's a way of being. And everyone can demonstrate it.